One wonders how much was a trick and how much was truth, but in the end we can all be happy that the ice boy named uh, Grey truly did not have turned to evil, although the first daughter of this uh, episode were some emotionality of it all, as uh, this is the fairytale series, anime series, final series, episode 4 or something like that. The Angry Anime Fan here to bring you it. The, not, the Natsu, Loshi, and Happy infiltrates the Avatar Dark Guild using Virgo dress from Star Making, but there they Natsu immediately defeats one of the Avatar gangs, once again showing just how much he has strong, until Grey appears and they fight. Unlike before, this fight feels a lot more serious in itself, as Grey always consists that he has mo moved away from them and he had uh, changed. In the end, Lucy cannot bear all this and actually slaps uh, Grey in the face. This shows a little bit more of the emotional side of the episode. Especially since Grey takes off his shirt and almost implies that he has erased his guild mark, which do not like. We also learn that Gajil, who last week was shown to have joined the council, hasn't joined alone together with Panther Lily. No, he, Levy has joined it as well. Well, let's just face it, they are meant to be together. And <laughs> the only one who can reel in the great Gajil is the cute when no, Levy. Also, we get a little more comedy scenes of uh, Wendy still treating Yuvia, but also gets extremely depressed once uh, she sees how, how jiggly and big Yuvia's breasts are. Well, that's always been Wendy's uh, joke of it all. I mean, she is still young, but uh, Kana once mocked her by saying, when I was your age, I already did have a bigger chest than you. So in a way, <laughs> Wendy is feeling a little bit insecure that no matter how old I get, <laughs> I will not get bigger chest. <laughs> That's basically her, uh, you know, comedy moments of it all. But we'll see, won't we? Although I'm not, after all, one year has passed and she still hasn't really grown that much. Lev is a bit worried about what she has seen from Grey. But uh, Gajil is adamant that if he really has turned, then he will not hesitate to punish him, because that's what the fan has had doing. Showing that Gajil may sometimes be a thug, but he do realize the file of innocence. As uh, when as uh, no, Lushi and Natsu has been captured in the Avatar Guild thanks to Gil, uh, Grey's powers, uh, one of the torture masters appears and is actually prepared to torture. Actually, this episode started with when Virgo, were, Virgo was summoned. She was actually bound within a bondage way, but turns out she did it to herself because that's her hobby. I mean, one of her hobbies is always to be tortured. And this torture guy, well, he's even bringing a goat licking and all that stuff. But then suddenly Grey freezes the guy and showing that all of his movements was completely fake. He has not be been turned mad. He is. He may be looking to destroy the E and D book, but he is not the bad guy everyone thought he was. In fact, he's working together with Ersa as we get a call and we see the armored Titania Ersa once again. This time showing a little more cleavage in her armor. Still as sexy as ever and still as badass. It's basically this episode of it all. I mean, the first half was some hard to watch moments, especially of the things uh, about G G Grey's still evil sign. Maybe it wasn't that good, but it was at least acceptable. I mean, granted, however, it was a relief that Grey hadn't turned to the evil, but the fact that he did it, that it turned out to all be a ploy, can feel a little underwhelming for a lot of people. But it was nice to see Levy again, and once again showing that, yeah, Gajil and Levy are meant to be together. Either way, soon uh, the entire fairytale gang will reunite. So I'm looking forward to that. Give me your thoughts if you have.